Namaste everybody! Hi! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lada Deluxe or Elena Glam. That's here on Mondays and Wednesdays. But today is Friday. That means Fridays are a drag. And we're doing this drag look, hopefully recognizable as I always say, Ben de la Creme. Last week I did Jinx Monsoon and they're good buddies, the both hilarious, and I thought it'd be perfect to do the other half of the Christmas show. <laughs> so this is Della, Ben de la Creme, and we're going to be doing this tutorial. If you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of all new videos I upload. Follow me on social media, all the links are down below, as well as my Patreon group. So like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into this fabulous tutorial. Hey, Anis. Oh, So you might see a little bit of improvement. My husband and I, I mean, my husband, I hear in my background, he's the ironing uh, expert in this household. <laughs> this was bad last time. And I'm kind of into the pink lately and I did jinx in pink, so might as well. So what I noticed about Bendela the Cram that she does her makeup with fingers a lot, just like Jinxie. And she also uses a flat brush and then disposable sponges like this to push it in, which I don't mind. I don't like brushes that much, but I already started this side. So I moisturized, I covered up the rest of my eyebrow tattoo, and we're gonna go with the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage Foundation in F10. So what I have in front of me is the video of them two going live on Instagram. Somebody uh, filmed it and posted on YouTube. So there's like 45 minutes of them uh, live do makeup. And you can see all the steps. So this is better than tutorial because tutorials are like three, five minutes on YouTube and you can't really tell what they do. And I gotta say, I don't hate this method anymore. It actually went on pretty smoothly with that little spongy. And you can throw them away, I don't have to wash my sponge. I prepared one just in case, but I might actually not need it. So I'm mixing my two kimchi concealers, the usual, the medium beige and the white one. And I'm gonna do it the same way Bella does. Um, she doesn't seem to highlight her nose, like the nose, the mouth, the chin. Seems like it's only under eyes. And here. So that's gonna be like a new brow bone. I think that's what she does. And the forehead looks like it. This is very interesting to watch. If you guys haven't watched that live on Instagram, Jinx is so funny. I mean, she's funny too, but Jinx was going all kind of crazy. <laughs> she was hilarious to watch and Della too. So now for the contour, I'm gonna go to my latest favorite, Aesthetica palette. I like my stick stick, but I'm almost out of it, so I kind of started using this one. Go in between two darkest colors. She does contour mostly in a normal way, and I say mostly because her nose contour, I mean, it's sloppy as hell. I actually seen her doing nose contour with her fingers. There is a video on YouTube where she goes like this, foundation, and then the contour too. I'm like, ah, no. Well, I'm gonna use the big brush. This is the same brush I use foundation. So I'm trying to put the contour out wider. Just the same thing uh, in case with Jinx to make my nose look a little wider rather than smaller because she got the nose. It's not the biggest nose, but you know. She's a guy after all, so the nose is a little bigger. So I'm gonna make it a little dance here. Because she's got kind of deep creases here too. And the nose a little wider here. Setting with the air spawn, the drag queen favorite. So falling through with kimchi 03 chocolate contour and uh, I'm pretty sure she does contour next. 
just can't find any receipts at the moment, but this is the usual step. She doesn't appear too contoured, you know, like dark. So uh, I'm mixing two colors, light and dark. So I might use a variety of palettes, but I think I might stick just to one. Uh, chapter 1 Alexis Stone because it has good variety of neutrals and has black and white, which is essential for drag. So I'm going to start with a neutral shade, then start creating the crease. I was watching tutorial and I have so many screenshots, so I can pretty much go picture by picture. Well, it wasn't a tutorial, it was a life, but anyway, you know. Now I'm taking the shade Progress, it's a dark brown, and we're gonna put this in the grease. So I guess we're starting with that light to dark. That's what she's doing. And her crease is pretty rounded, it looks like it's very even, like a semicircle. Now I'm gonna put the same shade under my eye. We're gonna open up the eye later with the white. I like to do that. I mean, a lot of drag queens do. But this is the best trick to open up the eyes. It doesn't look the, the most natural. But for drag, anything goes. Now I'm using a small brush. By the way, I forgot to mention the first brush was a numbered name Morphe brush, kind of large and fluffy. And second one was a smaller. Uh, more flat and fluffy Spectrum A28 for the crease and then for the under eye I used a small brush from BoxyCharm I can't even tell you what it is <laughs> and this is the old elf brush angled and yet fluffy so we're gonna start with a line that's usually when you do eyeliner you continue in the direction of a low lash line and lift it up but she really lifted up extremely, way past that, so we're gonna start to angle it way higher than that, like up. I'm using black eyeshadow. I think she was using like a dark brown or gray, but I'm going for black, I'm brave. It's gonna be black anyway, might as well. So I did something here, I'm trying to go by my pictorial. So I'm gonna go for that shadow for the same dark brown and a tiny brush. This is pretty much eyebrow brush. And we're gonna go for it. I think her eyebrows start kind of white out. It makes sense, it's more feminizing and I think they're a little bit higher than the beginning of her own brow. I've seen different pictures, like different uh, eyebrow styles. Now this was a struggle. Now you know, you know guys how it is. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna make them even. So I might have to struggle off camera, even them out. Now I'm going to take another brush, uh, the one that I use for the crease, for the light color. I'm going to blend this neutral shade into the nose, just to start to create a little ombre here and to make sure both sides match. So I cleaned up the brow a little bit with a white concealer, kimchi, and now I'm going to add the white from Alexis Stone palette. And on the main lid, I cut the crease just a little bit. She doesn't have like an extremely sharp cut grease, but just a little something. I'm gonna just blend this all together. So now I'm gonna try to create the eyeliner. So here's the issue as usual with my deep set eyes. My crease is so high and so deep because my eye ends here and most of the hooded eyes people you can't really see that crease, so they can do that big eyeliner. But I can blend it a little bit with eyeshadow, and once you put the eyelashes, you see, it's kind of crooked, but that's the only way to do it. So we're gonna lift it up and follow through with the eyeliner. Now she used NYX eyeliner. You know, I need to try that. It's supposed to be very good. This is Oscar Velasquez. This is a very good eyeliner. This small indie brand, if you guys know. Now I'm putting black eyeliner low lash line. 
All right, and I'm going to smudge it with a black eyeshadow. Using Inglot YJ liner. Just for once, I'm using something not too cheap. I like cheap stuff, but I got Inglot. Inglot actually one of the best. Actually the best formula after I. Now wiped off the bake and now I'm adding a little character features. So I'm gonna widen up my nose with a neutral shade from uh, Alexis Stone palette and a little bit of kimchi contour palette. And I already started here. She's got a little bit of a jowl sting. <laughs> You know, the old age. Oh, I think that was a little too sharp. So we're gonna try to soften this between kimchi and the neutral shade from Alexis Stone. She's got these lines here that not very deep, but she's got them so rosy cheeks. I'm gonna use kimchi plastic tiara palette. I like to go in between this, it creates a real nice rosy cheek and that's what she likes, that's what she said. Yeah, I think this is just right. Well, she likes pink lipstick, so I'm gonna go with the pink lipstick look. Uh, the YouTube video, I mean, that was Instagram Live, that was for before Christmas special and that was like last Christmas. And of course, it was red lipstick and she says that's the only thing she doesn't like about Christmas, the red lipstick. And I'm like, yes, I don't like red either. I mean, I do like red now, but I used to hate red. <laughs> I like pink and neutral. But... So now I'm gonna draw the most gaudy pink lipstick ever. <laughs> and I'm living for it because I love this kind of gaudy li pink, li pink lipstick. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liner in the color Rose Dream. And for once, I'm not gonna outline my lips too much because her lips look really, really, really skinny. And I'm going to use Rose Dream a lipstick and then I'm gonna make it even pinker with white concealer. I have a feeling this is not the right color. Yeah, we're gonna have to make it a little more pink. Yep, I don't like this. I'm gonna go with Maybelline and this is Dirty Romantic. Now, nah, this is pink. <laughs> yeah, much better. All right, to whiten the lipstick to make it really nauseating Barbie pink, I'm gonna use a little bit of kimchi white lipstick in the color mochi. And I just put it in my hands because I don't wanna contaminated different colors. So for the lip gloss, I'm using the Nomad Cosmetics, the Fetes uh, de Provence, and this is in the color Fetes de Provence. Huh. <laughs> I don't remember those names, guys. This is pink glitter, that's like everything. Oh, look at that. So I put the lashes on. Uh, the three of ones on top of regular lashes. She likes the three of ones for sure. And we're gonna do the mole. Now her mole, I'm pretty sure on the left side, but her favorite side is the left side, and my favorite side is the right side. So she poses with the left side, and I'm gonna pose with my right side. It makes total sense, believe me. <laughs> and she's here, Ben de la Creme. <laughs> Once I put the wig, wig, wigs on, <laughs> it all came together. And the flowers from a living room vase, I think I destroyed this completely. Because I took them off the stem and the cats are playing with the stem right now. These are two wigs stacked, very, very messily. <laughs> it's one of those things like, don't look in the back because it looks bad. <laughs> But we got the whole gist of the situation. It's almost 8 p.m. and cats are hungry, I'm hungry. And I'm ready to finish filming TikTok or something, something. And we'll take some pictures. I mean, I loved it, the idea to do Jinx first and then to do Ben Delacraham. I love them both, they're both hilarious and they're both good friends. So 
Back to back, Jinx and Be Bella. Maybe I'll make a collage on them side by side. I use pink background for both videos so I can put them side by side as if they're in the same room. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I love tricky things like that. So I think I make a better Della than I make a Jinx because, you know, we have a similar face shape. It's like Della or Michelle Visage, same difference. <laughs> I made a good Michelle Visage, so I think I'm gonna make a good Della. So let me know what you guys think. I love uh, Della, I love Jinx, I love them both together. If you guys haven't seen them together, like watch the YouTube video when uh, uh, they put together uh, makeup for Christmas, I think it was for Christmas, and also there is that youtube video that was taken off instagram it's a live and it's hilarious i'm going to link those videos here because the the one that's live that somebody just posted on youtube and <laughs> it's 45 minutes that you're never gonna miss because <laughs> it's just a jam to hear them speak so yeah let me know what you think leave me a comment below like this video and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet i upload three times a week on mondays wednesdays and fridays and i go live on some mondays so follow me on social media the links are down in the description box as well as my patreon group uh, thank you so much to all my patrons thank you guys so much for your support i love you all and thank you for watching i'll see you in my next fabulous video hey it's all